Hey everybody, welcome to Crafty Kiera. And today we are going to make a holly stationary wall decor piece. Now this is something you can do if you have some extra paper laying around. Um, it has a holiday print to it. You can do it for any holiday if you want. Um, but in this case I just kind of want to do one with this holly paper that I have. So it's very lightweight, it's easy to hang up. I'm making kind of a smaller version because I'm going to make another one here in the video and I'll have two that I can put up. You can put them up pretty much anywhere. So if you have a spot that you just kind of want to put something, you don't really necessarily want a big wreath or a big display, but you want something to kind of give you a little bit of a holiday feel, this is a pretty good project to do. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need um, some sort of pattern or paper with some sort of design on it. So in this case, I have some old stationary paper that I had gotten from, I forget if it's Office Depot or staples I had gotten a long time ago and it's something that you could probably you know write letters and stuff when you used to send them in the mail I think people still do that <laughs> so um, what I did was like cut out some squares out of the paper and I made sure that I had in my case the pattern along the edges so that way I can fold it into cones so the measurements you're going to need for that is on your patterned paper you're going to need 11 4 by 4 squares and 11 three by three. So I have those, I have them all cut out and everything. And then um, on your solid colored paper that you wanna do as a contrast here, you're gonna need 11 of the three and a half by three and a half. And what this is gonna do is allow you to get a layered effect as you are building your uh, wall decor. <laughs> uh, one of the other things you're gonna need is you're gonna need ribbon. In this case, I have a 3 8 inch ribbon that I'm going to wrap around a half inch foam ball. And that was to make my center. Now, if you have a different sort of embellishment that you want to do in the center, you can do that as well. I just wanted something that kind of made you think of a holly berry, not the actors. Now, so let's get started. Now, I went ahead and I made most of my cones, but I'll show you how I made my cones in a second. We want to start with the base. So you're going to need some tools to do this. So uh, for this particular part, you're going to need to make sure you have a glue stick so you can glue down your circle. So this is an eight inch circle I made out of the same colored paper that I had made um, the squares out of. And then I have to make a decent solid base. I have a eight inch circular cardboard uh, piece here. It's pretty thin. I actually, it's like a piece that came out of a scrapbooking like the you know the base of it uh, you can also use regular cardboard if you want or cardstock because again this is a light project it's not something that's going to be really heavy and you're going to want to have scissors of course to cut out all of your stuff you're going to need a ruler to help you measure things out and I have my handy dandy one here you're also going to want your glue gun when you're attaching the cones that you're making to the base and you're going to want a hole punch so you can make it, so you can hang it. So we are going to go ahead and glue this down here. I recommend the glue stick for this because the glue gun, if you get too thick in certain areas when you're pressing down, it might ooze out of the side or it might be bubbly or you might get burned. Uh, glue guns can be kind of dangerous sometimes. I did use the glue gun to make the cones and I'll show you that here in a second. So you kind of want to make sure you got enough glue here to go down and of course you can go around the edges as well so you want to center this on here and make a nice base now I went with the solid color that I had so that way if anything was showing through at the bottom um, which isn't likely but if you were to look at it from the side you might see a little bit of uh, the cardboard okay so that is done so now we have our base I'm gonna wait to hole punch it because I want to get my cones on first and then you're actually going to be hole punching through the, one of the cones and the uh, back. So uh, to make the cones, let me put this off to the side. You're going to want to take your paper, and it's pretty easy. Um, you're going to place it face down if you're doing the patterned one. If you're doing the solid color one, unless it's only colored on one side, uh, you want to put it face down here. What I do is I, I go over to one corner, and I'm just going to kind of make like a little pinch I'm not folding it, folding it, because then it would have a, a sharp edge to it. But I'm just trying to give me more of like a little cone shape on the end here. And I'm going to take my glue gun, put a little bit of glue on here. 
and then you're going to fold it and then press down. You can put your hand on the table and press down if you want to to help get the glue spread. Now if you have a big flap like that you can always come back and put some more glue. Just make sure you don't burn yourself because um, the paper is thin and you can really feel the heat coming through here. If you have those little um, finger protectors, the silicone ones, you probably want to use that just to make sure you're protected and don't burn yourself. So here's what the cone looks like here. And that is what's going to be attached to the base. Sorry, I've already made the rest of these. I'm going to go ahead and make my other cones here for the other sizes. So again, you're just going to make a tip there, put a little bit of glue. You don't want to go too crazy with that. And make your cone shape, kind of like an ice cream cone. And if you want to make sure the edge is all the way down, put a little more glue there. You don't want it to squish out <clears throat> and be on the edge because it'll be visible, especially when you do the solid color. Because the solid color ones, when they go on your project here, if you notice, these are rounder and, and have like the tip coming out this way. So you're seeing the outside, these you're actually seeing the inside. So um, it's going to be more noticeable if you have glue on the edge. So that's that. And I got glue all over the place. And let me do my solid color here. Now if you want to do two different patterns, you can. Um, it's completely up to you. I wanted to have the solid color kind of break up stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. press that down. Okay, so now we have all of our cones made. We're going to get our base back out, make sure we have the uh, paper side up. We're going to start laying down our cones. If you want to make things easier, you can go ahead and take your ruler and you're going to find the halfway point for your circle. So in this case, since this is 8 inches, you're going to have a 4 inch mark here. I would measure it from both sides just to make sure you're on point because uh, it really depends on where you're putting it. No one's going to see these marks. That's more for you to get to the edge of the cones, the ends here, to have a center point to line up. So let's start gluing these down. So I'm going to put glue along the bottom here. I'm going to line up the point with the center and just press down. Now if it's hard to press because it's already in the cone, you can take like a pencil and just kind of work it in there to press it down. And we have our first one on there. So we're going to go ahead and put the remaining 10 cones on there. All right, so here we have our first layer here of the cones. And as you can see, the um, plain side without the pattern is showing through the side. And then you have the pattern tips here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get your solid color cones here. And again, I've already made these. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing them down onto our project. Now on these, you're going to want to go and turn it up so the point's at the bottom this time, and you're going to go in between. So what I'm doing on that is you're going to glue here and here so you can connect to both cones that are already down. Now this, you definitely probably want to use your pencil to kind of make sure you push and have them glued together. So now you see here, it's in the center. So now you can see we've got our second layer down here. And everybody's stuck into place. So now you're going to take your last one, and this is the 3x3 three three cone, and you're going to stick it in between, and it's going to have the point up top, and it's going to line up with the one down at the bottom as you go around and you're going to fit it in between here. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have our base pretty much done here. You see it's got the three layers of paper and it's on our cardstock 
and I think it came out pretty good. So now we're going to do the center. In this case, I want something to look like a holly berry. Again, not the actors. Um, so I decided to go with a half inch foam ball and some red, this is double sided satin, three quarter inch ribbon, or three eighths, I should say, three eighths inch ribbon. You can do whatever size ribbon you want, any color, you can do any sort of embellishment you want too. If you want to put something else in the center, you can as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this around the ball here just to get it covered with the ribbon so I can put it in the center. So let's go ahead and knock that out. So now I have a ribbon colored ball, covered ball, I should say. It's like a little buckles here and there, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Put that off to the side. So now you want to take your paper, and everything should be pretty dry here with the glue gun. And then you're just going to, I'm going to put a little bit around the circle here and in the center and just stick it in the center and push down. Don't push too hard, obviously, because you could dent the foam. Just kind of hold it there. And there we go. So the last thing we want to do is make sure we put a hole so we can hang this. So you're going to want to turn this over. I want to go with a cone here, so I'm finding a cone with the center part here, and just pop it through the cardboard base. And then just take a little bit of ribbon. You don't need a bunch. So you can tie it off here and make uh, your hanging loop. I'm going to feed this through here. Maneuver that. And here we go. So now I've got both of my hanging holly stationery wall decor that I can put up. It's a pretty straightforward project. It's really simple. The most time consuming part of it is cutting the paper and making the cones. So that's something you want to set aside some time for. And that's it. So again, you can do this for any sort of holiday. You can even do it for Halloween. You can do it for Thanksgiving. You can do it a lot bigger in size. You can do it even smaller if you wanted to. But this 8 inch size works out pretty well. So, alright. So that's all that we have today for this particular video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media, and I have all those links down below in the description. And keep an eye out for even more holiday craft videos. Um, the next one we're going to be doing is actually going to be this one here. Our fall garland made with scrapbooking leaves. So that will be something I will be showing you soon. So keep an eye out for it. And that's all for today. If you liked what you saw in the video, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube here. You can also follow us on social media. You can also follow us and check out our blog at craftykiara.com. And of course, you can go check out our shop on Etsy for Crafty Kiara Shop. That's all for today, and I'll see you at the next video.